in this video, I'm going to show you the results of my BBL treatment. Yes, that's right. About two weeks ago, I went to the plastic surgeon's office and had a BBL treatment, which is basically an intense pulse light treatment. Remember the IPLs that they had maybe 10 or 15 years ago? In fact, I had one of those, two of those actually, about 15 years ago, and it really brought up the brown spots. It brought them up and then they flaked off my skin like leaves. And I realized that I was getting some melasma on my forehead and some other kind of spots on my face. So I thought I would try a BBL treatment. And here's the little brochure on it. It says, stop the clock on the appearance of skin aging, and they call it Forever Young BBL. And in just a few moments, I'll show you my whole treatment and the results I've had over the past 10 days. But first, if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all things anti-aging, I hope you'll click that bell. That way you'll be notified of my future weekly videos. Also, if you could give this video a thumbs up, that would be great too. Basically, the reason I had BBL was because I was getting some melasma on my forehead and also because I have these veins that have been around my nose for years. And every now and then I'll go in and have a little pulse light treatment, but they tend to disappear for maybe a couple of months and then they come back again. And I've heard that repeated BBLs can get rid of these little veins that we have around our nose. I also have them on my chin, and I don't think the one BBL did that much for them on my chin, but you can see the results around my nose and in my brown spots. And the thing that's a little bit scary about this treatment is that you get worse before you get better. When I went into the office for my BBL, I didn't particularly notice many brown spots on my face except for this melasma that I have on my forehead. But within 15 minutes after the treatment, I started noticing that brown spots were coming up on my face in areas that I didn't know I had brown spots. And it's kind of scary because when they come up and you didn't have them before, you think, oh my gosh, I've done this and I've ruined my skin. Well, what happens over time is kind of interesting because first those brown spots come out and the BBL people have a wonderful study that shows that over time, that the BBL treatments may be every three months, three or four times a year, that they increase collagen, and that after 10 years of regular BBL treatments, your skin will look better than when it started out 10 years ago. Okay, here I am outside the plastic surgery center. I have no makeup on. I am looking forward, a little bit nervous, but I'm looking forward to getting the BBL treatment. I know there's a little bit of pain involved, but I, I guess they always say beauty is pain. So here goes. If you want to do any pictures, you're going to want to do it before you put the numbing on because the numbing di uh, dilates vessels and it makes okay. you really red and blotchy. Went over all your pre-information, your post-information. Why don't you just do a little recap on the pre-information so we'll know that. Okay. What am I supposed to do before? So before your BBL, we prepped the skin with the hydroquinone, uh -huh. and you were on that. We're using that once a day. We also prepped yes. the skin with a 0.025 tretinoin uh -huh. um, to help with exfoliation so uh -huh. that the light can penetrate better into okay. the skin. So first pulse is just kind of a test pulse to see how your skin responds. Okay. Here we go. I didn't feel that at all. We'll go a little faster. Okay. Looks like a little rubber band snap is all. Well, and the thing with these is the sooner you start doing these treatments mm -hmm. in your, you know, mid to late 20s, the better. The wow. less correction you have to do, the older you get. It's easier to maintain than it is to correct. That's awesome. Where all can you have this done on your body? Full body. Oh my gosh. Anywhere. Hands, arms, wow. chest, neck back. I do back and shoulders. Are you serious? You have women that pretty much do everything? Yep. I've done full legs, full arms. Oh my gosh. It's so important to do some type of maintenance treatment every four to six weeks on your skin. Really? No matter what it is. If it's BBL, if it's um, a microdermabrasion, a hydrofacial, a chemical peel, you need to be doing something on a regular basis. Wow. Because your skin cell turnover rate is every 28 days. So, and as we age, that turnover rate slows the ability of the body to do that. It slows down and quits doing it. I have veins down there on my chin. Can you see those? Mm -hmm. what I'm getting. Thank you. It's amazing the little, little things that we have that pop up on our faces as we get older. It's like a new surprise every month, practically. Um, what all can we treat with the BBL? Yes. Okay. So with this machine, we can utilize it 
differently by changing the filters out and that's how the wavelength changes. Mm -hmm. So there's laser hair removal, there's skin tightening, mm -hmm. there's an acne setting and pigmentation and vessels. Uh, I think that you will not notice much the first single treatments mm -hmm. and that it takes multiple treatments to right. see a change. Mm -hmm. okay. This Probably. is a different flash. Your aftercare, you're going to notice your skin's a little bit drier, and the reason is is because this treatment does cause the sebaceous glands to shrink, which is nice for people that oily skin. They love that. I would love that. Yeah. But just um, more important to stay out of any direct sunlight. Mm -hmm. If you're going to go for walks, go after four or five. Put your sunblock on right before you go. Okay, here I am. I had the procedure. It finished up about 10 minutes ago. My face still feels very numb. I don't know if you can see, it looks pretty much the same as it did before. It seems to look a little bit kind of pale and pasty underneath all this greasy sunblock. You can see the melasma on my forehead is looking a lot darker. That will be interesting to see it come up. Hopefully over the next three or four treatments, that melasma will just fade away, which will be good. My incision does look more red, kind of scary. But anyway, that's where I am 10 minutes after. I had my treatment three weeks and two days ago. I had my treatment on June 25th, and now it is July 20th. So exactly three weeks and two days ago, I had my IPL treatment. And this is my skin now, and obviously I have makeup on. However, I think I really did see improvements in my skin. And I will admit that in the first few days, you start to see your BBL work, which means basically it's bringing those brown spots up, some of them you never knew you had. My sister also did that treatment, and it totally freaked her out. I kind of knew, since I'd had an IPL pulse light treatment 10 or 15 years ago, that you know it does get much worse before it gets better. But here are my results pictures over the first 10 days. Now there is day two, and as you can see, I have brown spots all along the left part of my face, and this is the part of my skin that faces the sun when I dry. So it's kind of understandable that I would have more brown spots there. In fact, I really didn't have any, particularly on the right-hand side of my face, so I'm not showing you the results there. But basically, as you can see, I've got a big brown splotch down there by my chin, which I never knew I had. And then you can see around the temple area, I have some dots of dark color over by the side of my eye. And then you can see that melasma on my forehead. And I never had those little moles that appear to be on my forehead. At least I didn't know they were there. But this BBL treatment is bringing them up. And then the second day, as you can see, it still looks pretty bad. Although the brown spot on my chin may look a little bit lighter. And you can still see the spots on the forehead and beside the eye. Now on day six, things are starting to calm down. That little brown spot, as you can see, is much lighter. And then the spots by the eyes are much lighter as well. And the melasma maybe looks about the same, actually. Although I think one of the dots is gone from my forehead, or maybe a couple of the dots is gone, which is nice. Now, here I am on day 10, and I think that's about the point where you start feeling like you didn't make a mistake doing the BBL because you really do start to see some good results. On day 10, as you can see, that little brown spot that is down by my chin is almost totally faded out and the spots by my eyes are almost totally faded as well. And the melasma on the forehead, as you can see, is still there. But comparing it with the very first picture on the far left, the day two picture, the BBL had also brought up a few little mole-like spots. And basically in the 10-day picture, the mole-like spots are gone except for the one that is up near my hairline. And in terms of the overall texture of my skin and the overall look of my skin, on day 10, as you can see, it looks a little bit lighter because it's brought pigment up, but really to me, it just looks like the skin overall from the second day, which was really the first morning after the BBL, it's really the first day. From the first day through the 10th day, it looks like in the last picture, my overall color, while it is lighter because the BBL does lighten your pigment overall, it just looks more even toned and the entire texture of the skin just looks a little finer. Now you've seen my results over the first 10 days, but I never did show you my before picture and my after picture. And so let me show you those pictures and I'll start with that side picture on the left of the left hand side of my face. And I'm so sorry, but in the before picture, I should have turned more to the side and I just did not do that. The first picture is before I had the BBLs at all. In fact, it's the morning of and the after picture was 10 days later. And let's start at the bottom of the picture, remembering that some of the pigment on my face you're not even going to be able to see because it is in the before picture. This is a bare face picture and neither picture is retouched. 
Now on that bottom arrow, as you can see, there's a little bit of brown discoloration, but you'd almost think maybe you weren't seeing it because that's before the BBL really brought that pigment up. So you can see there's a little shading where there is some pigment under the skin. And look in the after picture 10 days later and that pigment is largely gone. Now in the second arrow up, that middle arrow, as you can see, I've got a lot of little red veins around my nose. And then in the after picture, as you can see, they look largely gone. However, I've had results with this sort of a treatment just around my nose before, and they tend to be gone for a couple of months and then they come up again. So I'll be interested in having a few more BBLs and seeing if I can get rid of those all together and I'll let you know. Now, now let's take a look at my overall face before the BBL versus 10 days later. And here we are on the before picture in the very top arrow. As you can see, I have melasma stretched clear across my forehead. And in the after picture, although you can still see the melasma, especially on the right hand side, it is greatly reduced, at least I think it is. Now this is something I haven't shown you in the four day pictures because I didn't get a good picture of my nose in those pictures. But that first arrow down that is on my nose, I don't know if you can see it, but in the first arrow, I have several splotches of pigment right in the middle of my nose. And in the after picture, they are largely gone. Actually, in real life though, you can still see those pigmented lesions just a little bit, but not so bad. And I was really happy about that because it was getting to where when I was in the before picture, I almost couldn't cover that up with makeup. Now, the third arrow down, as you can see, I have the veining around both sides of my nose. And as you can see in the after picture, the veins around my nose are greatly reduced. Now, here is something that I didn't share with you before because I didn't have good pictures of it. But down there on my chin in the before picture, as you can see, I have a lot of little broken capillaries down there. And in the after picture, you can still see those little veins. They're still there, but they do appear to be reduced. Well, I am very pleased with the results of my first BBL treatment, and they sell them in packages of four. You basically buy three and you get one free, and they recommend that you have a series of four spaced about every three weeks to a month to just bring all that pigment up and get you started out on a good clean canvas, and that then you use sunblock religiously from there on, although I always do use sunblock, and as you can see, I still got sun damage. Oh well, what are you gonna do? And I have to say that I absolutely love my esthetician, Sasha Parks. She does my Botox on my forehead and around my eyes, and now she is doing these BBL treatments, and I can't wait to see the results over the next three treatments, and I'll do a video after the treatments to show you the final results. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, you're probably wondering how much these treatments cost. They are $350 a piece just for the face, and if you buy three, you get the fourth one free. Okay, that was a look at the results of my first BBL treatment, and so far so good. I'm very happy with those results. And if you're not a subscriber and you'd love to see weekly videos about all things 50 plus, anti-aging treatments included, I hope you'll click that bell to be notified of future videos and give this video a thumbs up. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day, and I've been using these Miracles Now cards from Gabrielle Bernstein, and I'll go ahead and choose a card. It is Saturday morning, and pretty much I have a free day after this. I'm so excited. Let's see what we can think about for today. Ooh, when I respect my money, my money respects me. When I respect my money, my money respects me. You know, I've never gotten a card about money before. It's usually positive thinking and stuff like that. But really, respecting our money is so important. And I remember one time a while ago, I was going through a money phase. I tend to go through phases where I study different things. And I was reading a lot of books by Susie Orman. And she always said, don't just stuff your bills in your wallet, but keep them evenly and keep them ones, fives, tens, twenties, hundreds, I guess if you carry hundreds, which I don't. But anyway, she said that keeping your money neat and organized shows your money respect and that when you respect your money, your money respects you. And to me, one of the ways in which I respect my money is that I kind of keep a list of the purchases that I'm making, not the super small ones, although I've done that in the past, but the larger purchases because I really don't want my spending to get away from me. And long ago, I decided to get rid of my charge cards because the studies show that you do spend more money when you buy things on a charge card. And we had this Frequent Flyer United charge card and I realized I was getting tons of Frequent Flyer miles, but I would see my bill at the end of the month, which we'd always pay it off at the end of the month, but it got pretty darn painful. And so at that point I thought, hey, their marketing is getting to me. Some people can handle it. I couldn't handle it. So now I use a debit card for all my purchases. So if I don't have the money in the bank, I don't spend it. And that keeps me financially solvent. 
So friends, just for today, let's remember that when we respect our money, our money respects us. Take care and see you in my next video.